Good day everybody, it's Corey again here with some PHP Runner tips and tricks. And today we're going to work with cell background colors. And this is a question asked in one of the comments from K. He says, thank you very much for your videos. Can you please make the following tutorial? If the value changes in a field, the color of the background changes too. And then he says, if the value is no, he needs a red background. And if the value is yes, it needs to be a green background. It's okay. This is especially for you. And I think this might help a lot of other people. And I'm going to show you exactly how I've been doing it on so many projects for so many different customers. And they're all happy with it. So let's, let's go. Thank you very much, Xline Soft for this amazing piece of software please go and visit their website and obtain your copy if you haven't done so already as you can see professional web applications with little or no coding okay so i have already set up a, a small project with a normal list page the very last column here like you can see is is empty and I already set it up in a way if you edit this record you can select whether this is paid yes or no and there we go have a yes and a no and obviously no cell background colors is changing at this point in time so let's open up PHP runner quickly and here you will see there's only one table in here it's orders and I'm going to jump straight to the events page because this is where this is all going to happen on the list page you obviously have all these events and we're going to code this in the list page after record process event here you will see a lot of parameters for this function and the one that we are going to use is record and also data now to change the background color first you would need to know what is the column name that you we are using we are using a column name called paid so if you quickly go to my sql table here will here you will see on this line it's actually in the database the column name is called notes but i rename it as paid and because i rename it as paid I'm going to have to use this paid field name. Uh, if I didn't rename it, I was going to use just the straight notes. So depending whether you changed it or not, that's what you will be using. Okay, so I'm going to back to my events. Now to change the background color, if you think in terms of HTML, we're going to have to change the style sheet or the CSS value for that cell and PHP Runner makes it really easy for us it gives us access to the style sheet by means of just basically doing this please note that I have my field name that I showed you just now underscore CSS and then I'm going to say background color is going to be green you will now see that everything is green now to to do the test we're going to use the data field name so we're going to simply say if data the field name compares to the double equal sign is uh, compares uh, to yes we want this to be green else now because there is actually a few of them that has no value I can't just say else make it red because it will make everything red that is not yes and not only the no ones so because of that in the else we're going to do another if statement and we're going to copy that previous one I'm just going to say if the paid is uh, no then make it red refresh the page and there you will see already 
when it's a yes it's going to be green if it's no it's going to be red changing any of these with values let me just select a random one here let's make this one yes as well and save it and you will see that it's yes so just to make it a little bit more interesting I'm gonna say if there's not a yes or a no in here I want these values to be let's say yellow I'm gonna go back to my events page on this second if that's within the else of the first if I'm gonna say else So, if it's not yes, see if it's no, and if it's not no, then make it yellow. And if I refresh the page now, you will notice now that everything that's not a yes or a no will be yellow. Changing this one to a no. And as simple as that okay so now just before we close this off I want to show you something very nice and all my customers is really happy with what I'm going to show you now so going back you will see that the yes and the no because the background color is green and red it's kind of like not so clear so it would be nice if we can change the color of the actual word no and the actual word yes to white perhaps it will just simply stand out better now to do that you're gonna go into your CSS coding and we're gonna add simply color is the hash value of FFFF now that is the HTML code for white and we're gonna do the same for when it is red now let me refresh this page now that in my opinion stands out a little bit more now just before we close this off I want to show you a really cool trick when it comes to hover with your mouse over these rows so when the paid value is yes we want this line when you hover with your mouse over it only to change to like a light green not the same green just a light green and when you hover with your mouse over this row where the paid is equals to no it must be like just a very light red and the same perhaps we can do for the yellows where there is no value set now to do that let's go back to my list page after a record processed I'm going to add another dollar record variable uh, this time I'm going to use something else so when the paid value is equals to yes I'm going to manipulate my hover CSS value please note that the paid field name is not defined in here which means it's going to affect the entire row I'm just going to say background and that is the HTML value for a light green do the same on no and the hover CSS is going to be that's the equivalent of a very light red and when there is no value set for yes or no when it's empty I'm gonna make the my hover CSS to a light yellow how do I get to these values you can go and google it it's all over the internet I just use this website over here you simply click on any color that you like and it will supply you with the HTML value for that color okay so I'm going to refresh the page nothing really has changed at this point in time but when I hover with my mouse over this record you can see it's a light green that one is a light pink or a light red rather this one is yellow yellow and then that's red again now that's pretty cool don't you think hopefully this was helping somebody Kay, I truly hope that I answered your question 
anything unclear please just ask me i will try and explain again thank you very much for watching and thank you for the question have a lovely day bye bye